I'm Bill Evans. I own Polytech Incorporated. We have an office in Cleveland, Ohio, and Akron as well. I teach at the University of Akron. I'm also a licensed lawyer in the state of Ohio. Polygraph has a level of subjectivity and objectivity associated with it. So in a polygraph examination, it's the examiner's opinion based on chart analysis and hand scoring, coupled with use of algorithms to make an ultimate determination as to whether that person being tested is truthful or not. Eye Detect is totally objective in the sense that the examiner has no input in the ultimate decision. So the algorithm ends up making the call on the person being tested for either truthfulness or deception. The researchers have established certain cutoffs for a person who is to be identified as being truthful or not. Those cutoffs are done based on independent studies and research behind the scenes that I as an examiner have no input in. So the subjects that are being tested for that accuracy then are identified by, by the researcher's back office, if you will, all right, not by the examiner who's actually doing the test. The interesting thing about that is with a, with a polygraph examination and a result that I make a conclusion on, I can then go and evaluate that person with the subjectivity of polygraph slash objectivity and then the total objectivity with eye detect and then provide my end user, if you will, my client, my attorney that I'm doing testing for, my police department that wants the exam conducted with an opinion of polygraph and then a separate opinion entirely of total objectivity with eye detect.